Replace the loading system by an equivalent resultant force and specify its resultant line of action intersects the member AB from A. So we're going to take these three forces, add them together, and we're going to get a force acting somewhere on here that causes the same moment at A. So first let's sum the forces in the X direction. We have negative 8. And this is a 3, 4, 5, so we have a positive 3. So that equals negative 5 kilonewtons. Sum the forces in the Y, and we got negative 6 minus 4 equals negative 10 kilonewtons. So our force is going, our resultant force is going down and to the left like that somewhere. So we want to find the distance x where that acts. So let's sum the moments about a. So the 8 times 3 causes rotation that way. So 8 times 3 minus 0. 0.6 times 0. 0.5 causes negative rotation. And then we'll do each component. So the uh, vertical 4 times this distance 4 and 2, and then the horizontal and this distance, also causing negative, so 3 times 4. And that results to 1. So the moment equals the force times the distance. The moment is 1. The force, the y force, goes straight through A, so it doesn't cause a moment. All we have is the 5 and the distance x. And it's going this way, so it's causing a positive rotation. So if you divide by 5, x equals 0.2 feet.